What's up Suns Army, Darth Pascal here, and today I want to talk to you guys about comebacks. Now comebacks have been in gaming for years, whether it was a last second turtle shell thrown in Mario Kart to win the race, or a long dead series making a great return. But it wasn't until this generation that we saw games themselves making comebacks. These games launched horribly but then somehow made a comeback in popularity and quality, with constant updates and the developers being committed to the content being produced these games did the unthinkable and came back from the brink let's get into the six best comebacks of this generation i'm darth pascal and welcome to sons gaming Not much needs to be said here because it's pretty much beating a dead horse that was already dead, you brought it back to life and now you're beating it to death again. But Battlefront 2's launch was one of the worst in history, but with a lot of work and free DLC, it has become a great game. Same as Battlefront 2, an all-time terrible launch, the game was broken and most of the promises were broken as well. But developer Hello Games put in the work and made No Man's Sky into what they promised it would be and beyond. And maybe that's why the update of the game is called No Man's Sky Beyond. Many people may easily forget how bad Rainbow Six Siege was at launch. It was basically dead on arrival. Fans were very disappointed in the original product and there were very few, if any, newcomers. But with a lot of DLC and big changes to the game, Ubisoft created the blueprint for games as a service as a whole and has maintained a steady success for years. Call of Duty did not start off this generation well. Ghost is one of the worst selling in franchise history, not to mention is considered one of the worst in the entire franchise. Things seemingly got worse and worse every year. Fans, critics, and sales numbers were not what they used to be, and it seemed that COD would never regain its way again. Until this year with Modern Warfare. Its launch was good, but it wasn't until Warzone released that this game exploded, and also felt like the first complete game in the franchise since Black Ops 2. Let's hope they continue to make Modern Warfare great, as well as the COD series as a whole as we jump into this next generation. You probably won't remember that GTA Online wasn't super popular when it first released. It took a decent amount of time and work for it to gain steam, in fact, numbers were so low at one point it seemed a comeback would be impossible. But in 2014, with releases on current gen consoles and a lot of updates to fix issues and make the game more interesting, GTA Online is here to stay for a long, long time. In fact, GTA Online has been so successful that GTA 5 will be re-releasing on next-gen consoles. That is a game that will span three generations of consoles. From almost failure to three console-spanning game. One game on three different consoles. That's an easy pick. Love it, or at probably at this point you hate it, Fortnite is one of the biggest games in history, only rivaled by Minecraft and Mario. It's hard to imagine the gaming world without Fortnite, but it almost happened. Fortnite was almost a failure. Fortnite's development started all the way back in 2011 and changed dramatically over the years of development. Originally the game looked like Minecraft with guns, then after years of development, it finally dropped in July of 2017. But it didn't take off and wasn't received well critically either. Epic then saw the potential of turning Fortnite into a battle royale after seeing the success of PUBG and Fortnite Battle Royale was born, quickly sweeping the nation and becoming one of if not the biggest game of all time, from Minecraft copycat flop to the biggest game in the world. Has to be the biggest comeback of this generation, whether you like it or I like it, it's the biggest comeback in gaming. Alright sons, that's it for me today. Quick updates and announcements for you guys that I've been putting off for a while. I want to make some t-shirts, but I want to see if any of you guys would want to buy them. I think it'd be a cool way to get the word out there about this channel, and also just have some cool gear for me to wear when I'm on camera. So comment down below if you want some Suns Gaming or Suns Army t-shirts. Let me know. Secondly, next week will be a greatest shooter on Metro 2033, and then the week after that will be 
an Apex lore video on Octane. We're going to be doing more lore videos and more greatest shooters because those are kind of my favorite ones to do, but also see a lot of success from you guys and you guys seem to really like them. So we will be focusing more on greatest shooter and Apex lore and maybe do some lore videos on other games in the future. So if you like those things, if if you don't like those things, comment down below and let me know what you guys think of the new updates to Suns Gaming coming soon. The sort of new format. We were doing a lot of list videos, but we will probably cut back on those and do maybe one a month and then save those news videos or my opinion videos for bonus videos on Saturdays. So I'm excited to bring this to you guys and give you the word on the channel. Also, if you want t-shirts, comment down below and I will order them, I will make them, I will do whatever it takes to get some Suns Gaming merch for you guys. All right, if you're new here, be sure to drop a like, a comment, whatever you wanna do, and just subscribe. I mean, even if you never watch my videos or you watch any of the Suns Gaming videos from any of us here, just hit subscribe. We want you guys a part of this because it helps us grow to reach more people that will like it. Anyways, I'm Darth Pascal, and I'll see you guys next time.